Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am hot already. It is almost fall. I say that because I think fall is on the 22nd. Not sure when this video is going up. Maybe it's already fall for you guys. I don't know. Anyways, I decided to wear this little sweater because it's actually a little bit cold in our house, but I'm in the office and it's actually really hot. So I might have to take this off in a second. I am here to do a kids fall clothing haul and I call it a fall clothing haul. I think I said this last year when I did a fall clothing haul. It's definitely going to be fall and winter clothing haul because I usually do one big shop for the kids in the fall and one big shop for the kids in the spring and then all the spring clothes go into summer and all the fall clothes go into winter. I like to buy the minimal amount of things that the kids need and this year they ended up needing a lot of things. I might not even be done. I might have to get Jackson and Jane a few more things, but we will see. So basically what I do is I go through their closet. For Piper, I go through all of Jane's old clothes, take them out, see what's going to fit her. Jane and Piper are on opposite seasons. So Jane was born in the winter, Piper was born in the summer, so her, the clothes are a little off. So yes, she has a lot of hand-me-downs, but they don't all fit her at the time that they need to fit her, especially shoes. So I usually go through those and then I see what she has and then I write down all the things that she will need. And then I do the same thing with Jackson. He doesn't have anybody that gives him hand-me-downs. So last year I got really lucky. He didn't grow that much last year. So he was able to wear a lot of the pants that he wore the summer or the winter before that. And this winter, all of his pants were like this short like high water crazy he he had some sort of growth spurt so none of his pants fit so he needed all new pants same with shirts all of a sudden he needed like a whole new wardrobe and then jane is in kindergarten this year and they wear uniforms so we got her all the uniforms that she needs for monday through friday and then lately when she gets home she doesn't really change out of her uniform a lot of parents say their kids change out of their uniform and so you need clothes for that but Jane has like soccer and dance where she changes into those clothes and then most of the time she doesn't really change into anything unless it's like dressing up for playing like princesses or some sort of thing like that. So she does need clothes for, you know, winter break and fall break and the weekends. So she doesn't need as much, but she definitely did need some things because same with Jackson, she went through some sort of growth spurt and none of her clothes fit. I really don't know what's going on with my hair, guys. It is a bad hair day to say the least. So all of that to say, I did get a lot of things. The good thing about the kids Shopping for the kids is I don't really have to go into the store because I know exactly what sizes they are. I did run into a few hiccups, which I'll share with you when I talk about the specific items, but I shopped at ThreadUp. I'm not sponsored by ThreadUp at all. I love ThreadUp, especially for kids' clothes. As you know, kids grow super duper fast, so a lot of times um, they only wear their clothes like three or four times, if even that. Sometimes you just have to get rid of them when they have the tags on. Thread Up is an online thrift store, so you basically get gently used clothes for a fraction of the price. And where I live now, there aren't many thrift stores. There are a few thrift stores, but there are no children-specific thrift stores. Like when I lived in Charleston, we had... What was it called? Children's? No, not Children's Place. That's an actual store. Whatever. There's like certain ones that are specifically for kids. And I used to love shopping there, but we don't have one here where I live. So that's the only way that I could do that. And then I also absolutely love Old Navy for kids clothes as well. And so I did a lot of shopping at Old Navy too. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to tell you guys how much, because Old Navy had huge sales. So I'm going to try to tell you guys all the sizes where I got it from and the price. I got all my receipts and everything here. So I will just start with Jackson. I got Jackson this cute little pair of sweatpants. Like I said, none of his pants fit him. This is a size 3T from Carter's. They were originally $26 and I got them for $17. So that's pretty good. I got Jackson two new pair of shoes from ThreadUp. I got him these Tommy Hilfiger shoes. They are so cute. Just like these little slide-ons for the winter and they are size nine, and they were originally $43, I got them for 12. There is no way in heck I'd be paying $43 for a child's shoe that they only wear one season. Their feet grow so fast. And then I got them these, these are Zara boots, and they are so, so cute. They are also size nine, they fit them great, we've already tried them on. 
Um, those are originally $43 as well, and I got those for $20 or $19.99. Here's one of my fails that I got from ThreadUp. I love these for Jackson. They're like a little Adidas sweatpants. Look how cute these are, but they're huge on him. They're a 3T, which is what size he wears. They were originally $32. I got them for $21.99, so $22, which is still kind of expensive for pants, in my opinion, for a child but they are so big on him. Jackson has such skinny little legs. It fits on his waist. By the time next winter comes on, they might be high water again, or the waist might be too small. So we'll see. Okay, I got him this cute gap vest, which I'm obsessed with. I think this is so cute. And it doesn't really get that cold here, so this will be nice to wear like a long sleeve shirt under with just the vest, keep his core warm. It is Baby Gap. It was originally $40 and I got it for $22 and it's like in perfect shape. I got him this jacket. He also grew out of all of his jackets from last winter. And again, we don't need like huge jackets around here. So this is just like a light jacket. Um, it's Tough Skins brand. I don't think I've ever heard of that. It was $13 originally, but I got it for $4.99. So that is amazing. And for originally $13, that's pretty cheap for a jacket. So I was like, maybe this is a cheaper brand, but this material feels really, really nice. So I think this will last a good, good long while. So that's good. All right. I also got Jackson just this zip up gap hoodie. He grew out of his other one that looked pretty much just like this. It was like a lighter gray and he loved it. So it's just, again, like a lighter jacket, but it'll keep him warm in the winter here. This one was $30 and I got it for $13.99. I got Jackson this Sonoma little long sleeve shirt, which I absolutely love. And it is a 3T. It was $17 and I got it for $4.99. It's in great shape. I also got him this Ralph Lauren polo pullover. We call this a schwully at our house. I don't know where we came up with that name, but Chris has a few of these polos and um, he loves these. Again, it's really nice for days that are not like super cold and you could just put this over like a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt and you're good to go. And this was, I think this was $21 and I got it for $10.99. This is a Baby Gap sweater. I'm not sure why this was on final sale. I don't know what qualifies something to be final sale, but this was on final sale. So originally $35 and I got it for only $3.99. So there's nothing wrong with it. I was like, maybe there's something wrong with it. It's a size three. I thought that was good. It's like nice and thick and comfortable. I also got him this cute little button down Ralph Lauren shirt for church or like a wedding or anything. We have a wedding this weekend actually. This was originally $60 and I got it for $15.99. And I'm telling you guys, it looks like it wasn't even worn before. Like, I don't even think, I really don't think this was ever worn. And if it was, it had to have been like ironed or something when it came out of the dryer. I thought this was cute and comfortable. It's just this like thermal little long sleeve shirt, gray. It's from Old Navy. It's a 3T. It was originally $15 and I got it for $9.99. This is all the stuff for Jackson still. I'm still on Jackson here. I got him this polo, just a regular long sleeve shirt. I think this was $21 and then I got it for $10.99. Okay, here's another one of my fails. This was a pair of pants for Jackson. I'm not sure if I used the website wrong, but I typed in boys, or I went to like all the filters and I clicked the 3T, that's what size he is. And these cute little pants were on there and they're just gray but look how big they are. And I looked at the tag and the tag says five. And this receipt that I got also says 5T, I believe, doesn't it? Yeah, it says 5T. Originally $43 and I got it for $17.99. I know that I put 5T in for Jane's clothes, but that was after I did Jackson. So these definitely don't fit him at all, but they are nice and eventually he'll fit into them. So we'll just save them. And then this was my, no, two more pant fails for Jackson on ThreadUp. Again, I'm not sure if this was my fault or their fault, but these are little sweatpants from Crazy Eights. They are so cute. And I thought Jackson would like to wear like sweatpants around the house because he likes to wear just like little basketball shorts and comfy things around the house now in the summertime. Um, but these are size 18 to 24 months. So this is not even close to his size. Piper could probably wear these and I think I might give them to Piper. Originally $15 and I got them for $12.99. So that wasn't even like that good of a deal, but I don't know. 
still fit Piper, so that's good. Only for a little bit, because Piper is not even in 18 months. And this is the last fail, and this was definitely ThreadUp's fault. So these little corduroy pants, they're skinny 3T corduroy pants. And it says boys on the receipt. It said boys on the website. And these are definitely girl pants. They have a heart little thing on the button. And the way they fit Jackson, they're girl pants. So they're 3T, they're the size that we needed, but they don't fit him. They're just, they look like girl pants on him. I do like skinny pants on Jackson because his legs are so tiny, but these are like way too skinny. And this is his size. So this was another fail. Again, I could probably just keep these for Piper to wear. These originally were $17 and I got them for $9.99. And then last for Jackson was this little thick, thicker of a coat. So now he has like three or four jackets, which is good. He really only probably needs one, but this one's a lot thicker, like a little puffer jacket. It's from Old Navy. It's a 3T. It was originally $40 and I got it for $18.99. And that is it for Jackson at ThreadUp. Seriously, look at all this. He is so excited for all this stuff. He has been asking to wear all these clothes a million times and I keep telling him, wait until I do this video. So he's gonna be really excited when he wakes up from his nap. We're gonna hang all this stuff up where it goes. I did not get Jane anything from ThreadUp. I couldn't find anything. She mainly needed pants. I'll show you guys with the Old Navy stuff. But let's get into Piper's things from ThreadUp. The first thing I got her is this cute little long sleeve dress. Actually, I wanna say she hardly needed anything. Um, she did need a few tops and a few dresses. She didn't have many long sleeve dresses and she loves wearing dresses. And with potty training still, dresses are a lot easier than pants. So I did have to get some dresses. So this dress, I'm not sure if it's gonna be too big. It is a 3T. I'm not sure if I knew it was a 3T or not. Or again, if something got messed up, but this was originally $20 and I got it for $6.99. And it'll eventually fit her, so that's good. You guys, I am dying at how cute this is. Look at this jean overall skirt. This isn't necessarily fall, but you can put in on tights and a long sleeve shirt under this, and it'll definitely be fall with like a little cardigan or something. I just think it is the cutest thing ever. It still has the Baby Gap tags on it, so it was never even worn. It was originally $34.99, I know, because it says it on here. Let's see what I, what this says though. Yep, overall dress, originally $34 and I got it for $11.99. And this can go into summertime. She can wear this in the summer too. So cute. Okay, I got her this as well from Old Navy. It's a 2T and I just thought it was super cute. Jane actually has one just like this. It's in like a maroon color so they can kind of match. And again, with like leggings or something, that'd be really cute at church. I don't know why I can't find that one. I don't know how much that one was. Okay, this is from the Circo brand. It's a 2T. It says it's a shirt, but again, I guess in the winter, you just wear leggings or tights. It looks like more of a dress to me. It was originally $10 and I got it for $7.99. And then lastly, I got Piper this little shirt. It's just blue. I noticed that pretty much everything that I got was navy blue. Maybe I love navy blue, I don't know. Old Navy 2T, originally $13, got it for $8.99. So that is all the stuff that I got Piper and that concludes all the things that I got at ThreadUp. So I'm very satisfied besides a few hiccups with Jackson's pants. Um, out of the four pants that I got him from ThreadUp, only one worked. And so I did get him some pants at Old Navy that I'll show you and hopefully that will be it for him and we can just squeeze it in. Otherwise, I might have to get him like another pair of sweatpants because I think he'll be really comfortable in some sweatpants. Okay, moving on. I feel like this video is gonna be super long so I'm gonna try to go through this really, really quick. Um, I got Jane, I don't think any of this is in order for a kid so I'm sorry. I got Jane this cute uh, dress. It's just self-explanatory. It's just gray, extra small, which is like a 5T kind of. I got it for $15. It was originally $20. I'm not sure what kind of sale I got. I have no idea. But this is like the softest material ever. It is so soft. All right, I had to move positions because my back was hurting really bad sitting like that. I must be getting old. 
This is a pair of pants that I got Jackson. Again, skinny, and these are actual boy pants, so these will fit them good. And these are a cute little maroon color. They are size 3T. I didn't try these on Jackson yet, and they do look a little bit big, but I know 2T would be high water, so hopefully these are gonna work out. Like I said, size 3T, and I got them for $9. They were originally $12, so I got a good deal there. I also got Jackson these jeans which are the same ones as the maroon ones, just in a regular like jean color. 3T, sorry, my robot vacuum in the background is being kind of noisy. These were $11.50, and I think I don't think I got them on sale or anything, but that's the price that they were. I also got Jackson, everything that I got them is 3T, so I'm not gonna say the size. So I got them this cute little shirt. As you can tell, on at Thread Up, I got them the same exact one pretty much in a light blue color. Oh, actually, guys, these were actually $20, and I got them for $15. I don't know. I don't think I got that right. I don't know how much this was. Okay, I got Piper this cute little dress. Like I said, she doesn't have a lot of long sleeve dresses, so I got her this one that's in like this mustard color. I thought it would be really cute with like a jean jacket or a cardigan and some colorful leggings or tights. Um, you can like dress it up or dress it down and this was eight dollars and then i got her the same exact one in this like charcoal color eight dollars so that's really really cute um, i got her this pair of shoes for church like i said she has not had any hand-me-down shoes from jane yet because with their seasons being different um there's no way like normally i can squeeze her into some smaller clothes and and let her wear a little bigger clothes as far as clothes go but not with shoes you can't really squeeze your child's shoe or foot in a shoe and you can't really let them wear big shoes because then they get blisters so i got her these little pair of shoes for church and she got um also a pair of chuck taylor's and some boots so she should be good for the winter look how cute these are for jackson they're like the u-shaped sweatpants and they're green and i don't know if you can tell they're like kind of like a waffle knit how much were these? These were $10. I also got Piper this dress, which is like a little longer than the other two that I showed you. And it has like a little bit of a detail here on the shoulder, but it's this cute little olive green color. This one was $8 as well. So all three of the dresses for Piper were $8. Also for Piper, I just got her some plain long sleeve shirts size 2t and it was actually a three pack for $15 so I got that one I got this pink polka dot one and I got this navy blue and flower floral pattern all for $15 not a piece but together then I got Jackson a lighter wash sorry I got him a lighter wash pair of jeans and these were $11.50 I got Jane some black leggings plain old black leggings these were five dollars for school she can only wear white leggings navy leggings or red leggings so she will not be able to wear those black ones and I also got her these cute camo ones we aren't a huge camo family but I thought these would be really really cute with like a plain white shirt or a plain black shirt with like some boots I don't know I think I would rock that, so. And then I got Jane two pair of sweatpants. So I got her these that just say Old Navy, and then I got her these that are just like the maroon color. And I'm noticing that I'm literally maroon, gray, and navy blue were like all the colors that I got. The camo leggings were $8. The maroon sweatpants were $12. And the Old Navy, these gray ones that say Old Navy were $20. I don't know if I have the receipt for all of these. I don't think I do. So I don't know how much any of these cost. But I got Jane this pretty floral dress. And it is a little on the long side. And it has like short sleeves. But again, you can wear like a cardigan or a jean jacket. And it's perfect for fall going into winter. I also got her this cute little shirt that has like the bell sleeves. And like a ruffle at the bottom. I also got her, this is so soft. <coughs> Ooh, this is so super soft and it has like the little tie at the bottom and it's like a three quarter length top. And this one, I decided to go with like a baby pink color. I think it'll look really cute on Jane's skin tone with her blonde hair. And it's not necessarily like a fall or winter color, but I think that she'll really like it, especially how soft it is. I did get her one pair of white leggings. We will see how that does at school. She seems to come home dirty a lot from the playground. 
So we might have to stick to like navy and red leggings instead of white. But the girl loves wearing dresses to school. And so when it starts to get cold, we might have to see what we're gonna do. Um, I did get her a pair of navy leggings for school. I got her this cute little pair of leggings. I usually stick to the solid colors. That way you can like mix and match it easier. But this will be really cute with like a solid color top, like maybe this one that we got her. I don't know, that'd be really cute. Um, and then I got Jackson one more shirt. I thought this one was really cute. Again, the same pattern with like the button down, but this one has a little bit more color. Oh, here's the receipt. So this shirt was $8 and 62 cents because I did get a discount. The navy blue leggings for Jane were $5 and the white leggings were $5. The ruffly top, I swear that thing. The, this ruffly top was $15 and the baby pink tie front little sweater was $20. So that concludes everything that I got for the kids for fall and winter. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest clothing haul that I've shared here on my channel. I'm pretty sure. I feel like we are all set. Like I said, maybe a few more sweatpants for Jackson and we'll see how Jane does with the clothes that I got her as far as like the weekends and stuff. Piper's definitely set and the kids are all set with shoes and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know as always down in the comments where you guys like to shop most for your kids. I absolutely love Target you guys, but for some reason shopping on Old Navy's website is a lot easier than shopping at Target's website. And like I was saying earlier, it's so much easier for me to just sit down and shop online for the kids than to like take them into the store and everything's hectic and crazy. And you guys know I don't have time to go do that by myself. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in my next video.